What do you think the level of pain is today, if you were going to describe it to the rest of the country? Um, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's up there. If it's a one through 10, it's close to a 10. I mean, listen, it was a little anticlimactic at the end. It wasn't like losing with 13 seconds left when you thought you had it and we're going to the AFC championship at home a couple of years ago. But still, I mean, I think more than anything, Dan, this is a big picture thing for this city. You know, other than the AFL years in the 1960s and the lacrosse team, which is in town, I want to give them respect. We've never won a championship here with the Buffalo Bills, a Super Bowl or a Stanley Cup with the Buffalo Sabres. And we've been down that road many times and very close. And I think this is just another one in those long lists of things that have happened in the city. I grew up here. I was here during the Super Bowl years. And now I cover this team professionally. And, and it hurts. It hurts badly this morning because, again, I think there's a sense of if you weren't going to beat the Chiefs this year, if you weren't going to do it now, will you ever be able to do it? Well, that's what I kept coming back to, that there's no other player in modern day football that I feel more confident in than Patrick Mahomes. So even when the team is not as good, I, there, there's still that confidence. Level. Maybe we, we certainly had that with Brady. We had that probably with Joe Montana. Game on the line, you go, yeah, somehow. And I still don't have that yet with Josh Allen where you go, you know what? And, and I thought he played pretty well. I didn't understand the game plan in the final, uh, in the fourth quarter. They started to throw the ball where I thought they could, they could have kept running all night and rushed for over 200 yards. So did McDermott talk about they tried to change things up there in the fourth quarter? No, I think what happened, though, was um, if you watch, you know, the game, the first half, the Bills were dominating the line of scrimmage. They were running for over five yards a carry. They they were controlling the game with the run game. Chiefs made a nice adjustment in the, in the second half. They they went from two high to one high. They put a guy in the box. They were making sure the Bills couldn't run the ball. They were they were really kind of forcing the Bills' weapons to beat them on the outside. And the Bills couldn't win. And when they did win, they had a couple of drop passes, right? I mean, they took a couple shots down the field. Stephon Diggs, Trent Sherfield. So I don't think it was some major game plan shift. I think the Chiefs did a good job of taking away okay. the run game. You know, but but on that note, though, I think the game plan was, you know, the Bills came into this game so depleted on defense, Dan, that I think the Bills said, look, if we can control the game on the ground, and keep Patrick Mahomes off the field and have long drives. And they did that, seven-minute drives, eight-minute drives. Unfortunately, though, the first one ends in a field goal, not a touchdown. That hurts you. Then you go three and out in another series later. That hurts you. And really, at the end of the day, you couldn't stop the Chiefs. And they were just scoring every time, which is why they went for the fake field goal. I'm sorry, the fake punt. And McDermott said, look, we just weren't stopping them. Um, so, And then as far as Josh Allen's concerned, I thought he played one heck of a game again. This guy's been so good in the playoffs. I was doing the numbers this morning, Dan. It's amazing to think. He started 10 playoff games in his career. He's five and five, and of course, the record is the record. When you count passing, rushing, and even one reception he had for a touchdown a few years ago, 330 yards a game. He's accounted for 27 touchdowns and only four interceptions. I mean, his numbers are remarkable. It's incredible that he has not been to a Super Bowl yet, and I think – this is what we do, right? We all know it. We grew up in Dan Marino and Jim Kelly, and this is what we do. We It's the quarterback. It's the quarterback. Josh Allen, if anybody thinks that he is some sort of issue why the Bills haven't gotten this this far to where they need to go, then they haven't watched because this is the only reason this guy, he's carrying this team on his back like he kind of did last night.